Hello everybody and welcome to Transport Fever 2. Finally the game has been released on Steam and of course we're heading right into one of the sandbox games. So when I say one of the sandbox games, well, you can play uh, Europe, you can play Asia or you can play the United States theme. So we are here in the Euro Europe theme with the temperate climate zone as we can see on a very very big map so one of the biggest ones because I still haven't seen my CPU melt yet and I, I just want to see it melting at some point I know it wasn't good enough it seems so let's try it with this game here now on this beautiful map here as we can see we got lots of resources and cities and if you're new to transport fever well what you have to do you have to build up a logistic network of well delivering goods to factories and cities and when you begin on a map like that everything looks rather you know empty and generic but don't worry everything is going to grow dynam dynam dynamically when we well increase something like delivering goods and stuff like that so things are getting better than as we progress in the game right now well there are a few people walking around in dead streets because there are no cars yet only horse carts as far as as we are supposed to be here in the year 1870 so really just at the beginning of everything and let's have a look around I mean I do like the graphics when you zoom far outside you know of course you can't see that much but when you see zoom in here and look at that the details when you get close to stuff there's grass there are beautiful lighting effects and yeah just overall I think I can already say safely a beautiful game now what do we need first of all let's find a first route where we can do something with so in this case we got well look at that here in the middle Maryport forest so that is a forest here logs are being produced in this one here and when we go over here we can see a south world sawmill and the sawmill as we can see is processing wood to planks and that's exactly our first goal here delivering woods and lock locks to that one here and this one here is then producing planks that we can then again deliver to someplace else like here where planks are being then made to tools and the tools are then being used in south wall so rather simple our very first one but it's clear what we need to do first of all here let's have a look at that one here what we want to start with is a very important question, especially since money is very limited at the moment. As we can see here, we have a loan of 5 million. We start with that and well, we have to first of all pay it back and it's costing us payback. So we need to hurry up here. First of all, let's choose. We have to choose. We can choose between road vehicles. At the moment, these are horses. Um, we can choose trains and ships as well. We're not going to start with a ship yet, there are no planes yet, so not that, but I want to start with actually road vehicles, even though some of you might say, oh gosh, please don't, um, well, I want to actually, so road vehicles, that's it, and for that, we actually want to start with a truck station, and we do need a street as well, so we need to have a street over there, so let's have the street first, there's already a street here, let's have a medium street, since I'm going to have quite some horses running around here then and as we can see all the way over there that is quite expensive though one million let's see how much the train costs me if i have standard tracks but the train would be similar let's have a train instead you know it's just much better than when we have a train so for the train we do need a cargo station that we can have here and we should be a bit careful here how we lay it out actually because we want to have more tracks here around then so let's just have it like that now very good so that we can also you know upgrade it then if we want to and we should also have a smaller road going to it and let's just check if it has the reach of it perfect it lights up there so we have the reach of it so you know locks will be landing here then once this line is completed and then we want to have a track starting here first of all we want to have another cargo station up here so let's see again we want to go for yeah over there then so we should have the station here somewhere right and we're also going for let's see a small street then and then over here 
perfect. And we do have, again, the reach of that. And now all we need to do is connect them with the tracks here. Perfect, didn't even cost that much. Didn't even cost more than the road. Very strange, perhaps because it was a medium road or something. All right, so that's that. And next up would be a depot that we also need. A train depot here. Of course, it needs a connection to the network. Oh, this can't work. Nope. Here. And then we just connect it with, well, the tracks. They're with the main tracks. Here. And can we do it like that? Oh, I wanted to have it like that, but I think the angle is too steep. Yes, I think the angle is too steep there. Okay, now it's working. We just had to place it a bit more to the back there. Now we have the depot here, and in the depot we can now buy the first trains. And this is really interesting here. We have really beautiful historical trains here that were available at 1870. So the D13 or the Borsig, which kind of the Porsche 6 sounds a bit more powerful and looks more powerful, also more expensive than I think, around 329,000. Um, yeah, that's possible. So we have that one here now. Let's add it to the cart and now we need some wagons that we have here. So it's this one here, the cargo type is locks and that's exactly what we want for this one here. And as we can see now the capacity goes up here, of course the vehicle also costs more. And yeah, four wagons are good for me now. Let's purchase this one here. Now, next up would be a line. So the first cargo line that we have. We can also have passenger lines then between cities or within cities, the, uh, whatever we want really. And then we have the two ports now. And what we need to do now for this line here is of course to add the train to it. Train one is on the line now. Should be coming out here. We got an achievement there too. First cargo item waiting. And there is the train coming out. Our very first train. Beautiful looking. Going into the wrong direction. Why is it going in the wrong direction? We definitely do have a connection here though, but well, going the wrong direction. And there's even a bear here running around. An Easter egg. Okay, this bear is called Easter Egg, it seems. Interesting. But yeah, here now we have, we should be having locks waiting and there they are. Look at that, they're piling up here now. It's rather easy, right? But beautiful. There they are, perfect. So now we can make some money out of this one here while the train is on its way and doing its thing. Now, we do want then to deliver those planks here to the station up here where we have the tools factory. So what we can do here with this train station there is we could have, well, we could have a second track then on it. As you can see, we have now here side buildings that we can add to this tra uh, train station here. And in this case, I want to have another cargo platform that we can have here. That's it really. Beautiful. And now, from this tri uh, tra track here, we want to go over here. I hope my money is enough for that. Because we want to deliver those goods over here then, and from there, the tools then to South Wall City. That might be the goal for now. Perhaps, yeah, perhaps if we would be using those streets here with the horses, that would be perhaps faster. Who knows? Let's have a look at the train first. There's the train coming in, empty at the moment, obviously. But at least we get the achievement for that. The first steam train arrived on its way now to hopefully get us some logs because we need to make money here. Let's have a look how much the tracks cost me. Oh yeah, almost a million. Can we afford that? I guess we can afford that goes through a tunnel there too and all we need here is 
another cargo station. Oh, and the first cargo is on board as well. So the train is now, as you can see, delivering those goods. And that's a live video. Look at that. I can even select the train now in that video here. That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, it seems like we can't rotate freely, but only with certain degrees, so... Let's have the tracks over here. Perfect. We, of course, need to connect it again with a small street there. Perfect. It's got its connection there. And now, just some tracks there. Oh boy, that's... Yeah, that's quite expensive. But we have a tunnel here, as you can see. It's the first tunnel as well. And of course, a tunnel is much more expensive. Now, we need to also go back to the platform here. There we have the cargo platform, and here we have the tracks then on this platform there. It's probably not even necessary to have another platform here right away, but well. Seems like we have collision here, but of course it needs to collide. They kind of don't want to connect here, it seems. Okay, perfect. Now we have it. Just a steeper slope here that we have there because of the hills there, so we had to build it through it. Of course, that was also quite expensive, so my money is really down now but i hope we get it back soon now we do have that one here we also need a second line here now taking this track there and then this station over there and we actually do have a depot already i wonder if i could select this track here merge it with that one there perfect and then choose the depot over here where we can then buy the vehicle then and assign it to that. So let's purchase this one here once again, add it to the cart. And in this case, we need planks. They're available with this one here too. Let's add them. Costs me another million. And let's assign this one here to line number two. And the second train is on its way now a bit longer than the first one i think the first one is a bit too short let's have a look at the first one there as we can see it's loading oh look at that so many locks here waiting incredible this train station is definitely full and he's waiting now i think because the other train is on his tracks so he should be leaving then once that one here has left this train network there Right, now he's leaving, perfect. Getting out of the station there, on his way now. And by the way, as I said already, you know, all these things grow, so do the factories, of course, when we deliver them something and they can produce something and they make profit themselves. And of course, then we can, well, make profit of them and they also grow with that. So with that train here, it's only 16 locks and that, train is, is seems like it's handling handling it pretty well so we can add more wagons then how much money do I make of out of this one here 115,000 and there we get the first planks out of that wood that we can now deliver to the other one then so let's have a look at that manage vehicle train one and I think we need to send it to the depot then yeah Let's select this one here to the depot now because what we need to do in the depot is add some more wagons to this one here. Okay, now let's buy the vehicle. Now we do have, we already have one. The Mary Pod, there it is. And this one here, edit. 
perfect. And now here we can add some more of those ones here. Very good. And let's assign it to train line one. We almost have no money anymore. So hopefully this better works. He's taking the wrong turn again. So no more money from him for quite some time. But the first planks, ah, oh, they're already on their way. Have already been delivered, it seems. To that tool factory here. Yep, the first ones have been delivered already. So don't worry, it looks a bit simple at the moment, but trust me, it gets a bit more complex then. Once we have more goods. So right now I really just want this to work. And the graphics are just amazing. No planks for this train, unfortunately, because, well, we haven't had any locks so far. So in this case, we just need to wait a bit there for, well, the first locks or the next locks to come in here. And here's the train now full of locks coming back into that factory. And there's also a really cool feature that is if we click on the train, we can, of course, follow it as well with a free camera. We can look around here and just enjoy the scenery while we drive along the tracks here and enjoying that beautiful landscape there. Just imagine having like huge high speed passenger trains here then going through. At some point this will happen. And he's unloading the locks now, getting us some good profit there for the first time. And getting out of there now so that was a lot of locks and planks more planks are appearing here now very good so the other train finally has something to do again and because of course we're also now producing tools here we could be delivering those tools now to the city but we can't afford tracks anymore um, safe to say another station um, so we want to have since we have already a street system here we can use that for our horse carts. So here we have a truck station and the truck unload stop and those things we can then place along the street there and my carts will then unload it. But first, well, first we need to wait a bit for money. So here we have more planks now. Can we actually load all of them in South Wall Station? I love the trains and we're definitely going to focus a lot on passenger trains then as well. Oh, it's not even enough planks there. Alrighty, and a little bit later we're actually making some profit now. So we have 77,000 here. The money that I have on my bank account is not really good though, not really high there. Um, and this train here is, I think is also struggling a bit with the amount of wagons that we have there in the back but well let's leave it at that for now the thing is we do have now tools here as well and i want to deliver them to that town there so what we can do now first of all slowing down the game there a bit and getting a loan unfortunately so we are borrowing us another million okay and then we're going for the streets here building and the truck station that's exactly what we want to have here close to the train station and to the factory here and then we place it so this one's now got a few things here, perfect, that's that. And we want to deliver those tools now to a commercial building. It needs cargo, it needs the tools. Okay, the same goes for that commercial building there. So let's have something here where we can unload cargo and that is truck unload stop. I hope this is the one. So here we can unload now. We should be able to unload something. Oh, we have another truck station here, which actually takes into account all of those houses here, as you can see. Yes, I think this is better. Let's place this one here. Perfect. And there we have it. And all we need to do now is once again have a new line. Actually, let's not start with that one there, but with this one here. Going all the way over there. And we also need a depot once again, a road depot, there it is. Much easier to build because we can simply put it beside a street there. Perfect. And on this one here we can now 
purchase those vehicles here that we have the European flatbed horse-drawn carriage which doesn't have the tools that we need. This one has all cargo types. European covered horse-drawn carriage. And let's take this one here. Let's purchase four of them, I think, right? Hopefully four of them will be enough. Let's take them and move them to line three. And there are our first carriages coming out. I think we've been move for the camera here. Yeah, that's something I like. Beautiful. Now, that's working. Um, the thing is, what I can see right now, that we have the wrong cargo type here. So, they're not really taking the right cargo here with them, so we need to change that. Let's select all of them. And then we can send them probably back I think we need to send them back for now. I think we need to get the right cargo there because it says right now that it wants to get oil. Something like that. Of course, we don't have any oil. So now they're going back in there. We haven't gotten anything out of this one here yet. Let's just wait for a huge patch coming in there. We'll see what it is. All right, so that was just a smaller bug there. It does. It says oil when it comes out, but it actually takes down the tools when, need, when it needs to. So there we get the first tools now. And one of the first things that we can actually fulfill here in this little sleepy town. And there's the horse cart coming in now. There's another horse cart over there actually. It's a it's oh, it's a private one for commercial building. And here we can unload it now. Get a bit of money out of it. Not much actually, 6,000 only. And thus we can fulfill something here for Southwold. And Southwold also has lots of statistics here as we can see. So shopping facilities, it had 76 residents. And we have now supply for 20% of the tools uh, in this area here and of course when we fulfill those things well it will grow naturally and also have more demands of course then so there's one in here i think one is quite enough at the moment it seems because this is always empty the thing is that this train here doesn't really have planks that often and that's because that train here with the locks just takes way too much time so i want i also want to do something which is probably bad per se um, get more loan, get more money out of this one here, since we really need that money. Here, I want to have a parallel track. As we can see, it's quite easy to do that, actually. We just need to draw it beside this one here. And there we have it. And we have a parallel one here. Very good. So now I want to continue with that, going all the way over there. And as you can see, actually, it's Nah, it's costing us quite a bit there. But I want to have two trains with the locks on this line here. Going all the way over there. Feels like painting. And there, we actually have a second track. And I'm going to use this one here. Can we actually also have... No, it looks like I can't have that. I would like to have... Oh yeah, we can have, actually have it here, right? Yeah, he's doing that, perfect. So now everything has been connected here and we can actually have a second train on this route here. How much does it cost? Let's have a look. We have the depot here. This is line one still. And for line one, we want to have something else. And that is another train here. Let's add it to the cart and locks. And we can actually afford it, I think. Yeah, we can actually afford this one here, perfect. And let's also assign this one to route one. And I'm curious now if he actually knows which track to take, you know, let's see. If he can do that automatically, that would be amazing. Otherwise we'll have to do it manually ourselves. 
because as you can see we have now two tracks side by side. Okay, this one's going out now, going into the wrong direction again, obviously. Here we are loading now some goods. And, nope, he's stopping. So he's not recognizing that there is a second track available. So we need to make, I think, a second line then for just that. Yeah, we can actually choose which tracks they want to take on the station, but I can't assign it like it has to use this track here, you know, so at least it doesn't seem like it. There's only the waiting time that it has. Yeah, so I think for this we will need, well, two tracks then, entirely. Alright, yeah, and after a little bit of time we're actually making some profit here now. We are in the plus region, even though we have quite a huge loan um, that we need to repay. Um, 6.5 million at the moment, so we really need to focus on that. We do have now two trains with planks being delivered there, they're always racing against each other. The one though is a bit faster than the other one because of course it is shorter. And just look at that, the graphics with that skybox, totally, totally in love with the graphics there. No bugs, no glitches at this point. Um, running smooth so far. Once you actually have figured it out how to work with those logistic networks here and how they link together, it actually is quite fun. Um, we also have now four vehicles here operating there because we are producing much more tools now, many more tools there um, for that. And also they're then delivering those tools to that city here, which is then going to grow. And look at that, we already have a new street over here that wasn't there before. Um, more buildings then coming in there, I guess. And those cards, we can also see if they're making profit. This one here is making profit, this one here. So of course the profit is higher if they're, well, if they're used more often with full capacity. So right now we can offer that. But the next goal of course would be another train with planks here. So that not only the train here is running to and fro between those two. But at the moment one train is totally sufficient. So perhaps we need another train with locks then. But so far so good. Our first network is completed. And it's only the first one on a very long road to to the modern times there and I'm especially looking forward to planes and high-speed trains with passengers. Hopefully we'll see them. Stay tuned.